And welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, I wanted to address something that I see often from different viewers, and it's uh, the fear of not being able to install your favorite browser or software in Windows. And it comes back regularly. Um, people have this impression that Microsoft wants to block, you know, anybody from actually installing uh, other software than their own. And uh, which is absolutely not true in a sense. Um, the, um, the way that it is is that Microsoft might, and we've seen it in Windows 11, when it was kind of a little more difficult to have, uh, you know, Google Chrome, for example, as your main browser to replace Edge. So this gave the impression for a lot of people that, well, you know, at some point they're going to block and they're going to make sure that we can't install it anymore. And that is not true. The core and the reason for Windows to be so popular is exactly the opposite, is exactly the fact that you can install whatever software you want. It's the freedom of doing what you want. Now, Microsoft sometimes changes some of its rules and you know, it might um, make it a little harder for some. And, you know, this is something is a behavior that um, in the past has actually brought the famous uh, antitrust case against Microsoft, um, its dominance and trying to, you know, it doesn't prevent you from installing anything else, but it kind of tries to make it more difficult for you to see that it exists. Um, and, you know, one of the fear was that, well, Edge will be, take over and that's going to be Edge and maybe I don't want Edge, I want Chrome. Chrome will always be installable. Firefox will always be installable. Um, it's, it's something that will always be like that because that's not where Windows could go for a simple reason. It's why Windows dominated for so long. The choice and the freedom of choice of whatever software you want to install to do what you want, uh, which is not the case in, in uh, some other operating systems. You know, in Linux, you don't have the choice that Windows has. You never did, and unless, you know, it really gets into uh, high gear, it will never have. It has equivalent to some of the software, definitely. But, you know, I always say that somebody that is on, is on Linux is not somebody that's much of a power user in different hardware and the different things that he does for a simple reason. The real power user software and hardware of that that's outside of the standard, you know, uh, printers and, and screens is mostly only Windows. Um, there's been an improvement on Macs over the years. Um, I remember, you know, in 2000, you had to be careful what printer you bought. You had to be careful what hardware you would get because it was not always working on a Mac computer. That's improved a lot. Uh, Apple has worked a lot in improving the compatibility of hardware, but still, um, there's a reason, once again, for Windows to exist, and it's, it's, it's power of the amazing software library which is the biggest of all and so if Microsoft would stop you from installing your favorite program it will also uh, annihilate the reason for it to exist it will become an operating system that now why should I have Windows because I suddenly cannot install or do what I want so that's why it's not anything feasible because Microsoft is stuck with a Windows operating system that has always been the free for all system. Install, tweak, do as you like is what Windows is. And you know, when somebody asked me about iPads and iPhones will, and, and Android tablets and phones, what's the difference? I will say, well, if you're a Windows user that likes the freedom of Windows, of doing what you want Android is the windows of the mobile world Android is the I do what I want install what I want 
pretty much, as long as it, of course, is available, uh, where iPads, iPhones, and even Mac computers are much more closed down. Not as much choice. Like I said, it's improved over time. But um, it's still a small, a smaller chunk of, you know, hardware, software. Um, you know, I do different things with amateur radio and other uh, types of hardware. And, you know, what comes back regularly about Windows, Mac, and Linux users is the uh, questions of, well, I'm on the Linux. What can I use to use this device? Well, you only have one choice. It's one. There's one software that exists, and it's the only one. And often it's a crappy, often it's a crappy one too. It's not necessarily the best choice, you know. Uh, Mac users are on the same thing. Um, you have hardware, but uh, you'll have one software for Apple that will work. And once again, why is Windows so popular? Because there you'll have a huge choice. You know, there was a user the other day that says, well, you know, you install Linux, you use Linux, and you have virtual Windows. Might as well have Windows. If you have virtual Windows and Linux, I don't even see the point. So, you know, it's it's just that. So depending on what you do, um, you know, there is only one choice for really the freedom of doing what you want, and it's Windows. Uh, and it explains why it's still dominant because of all of that. Uh, the day that, you know, uh, Microsoft would decide that you cannot install something or your favorite software, no, it would just kill Windows. It would, it would blatantly kill Windows because it kills what Windows is all about. So when I see somebody saying, well, I'm scared that, you know, in the next version, Edge will be the only thing you can use. If that would be the case, then you would start seeing people um, seriously move away from from Microsoft Windows because that would defeat what's always been the freedom of installing and doing what you want. Now, Microsoft, like in Windows 11, made it a little tougher sometimes. Although they've they've you know they've dosed it back. They saw that the the people's response wasn't good. So now when you install Chrome, for example, well, you'll have a pop-up. It's going to say you want this to be a default uh, the first time you run it. They've made it easier for Chrome also to be the default within the settings. Um, and um, most of other software also. Um, you know, they've done little things like that. They've done things where they're not preventing you from installing, but, um, you know, might not tell you that something else exists, you know. So that's up to you to learn that, yeah, there, there, that exists, and I can install it and do what I want to replace, you know, whatever software, you know, like, for example, mail, you could have something else. If you have, you know, you could use uh, uh, Thunderbird, which is the uh, Mozilla uh, email provider, you know, and uh, your or email app, and, and that would work. And, I mean, you know, this has always been what you could do and you know this will be the future of windows installing the software you want when you want it and not being in a jail like apple or not having the very small choice of software like linux if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching